He is a visionary and his works are like sacred objects. I present James Baylog. Well, thank you so much. Can we dim the house lights a little bit more? That's it, better, okay. What I'm here to do tonight is bring to you tangible visual evidence of the immediacy of climate change itself. Glaciers matter because they're the canary in the global coal mine. It's the place where you can see climate change happening. Without further ado, let me tell you what we've been seeing out there. This is a glacier called the Solheim Glacier. We're looking down on it. Now we turn on our time lapse. You can see the terminus retreating. You can see this river being formed. You can see it deflating. We go back a couple years in time. That's where it started. That's where it ended a few months ago. Now down onto the side of the glacier, looking across the terminus, this is what we see. Look at this. You'll see deflation happening here as the heat takes away the surface of the glacier and the surface drops. At the same time, a stream is undercutting it from a glacier that's melting faster up valley, washing this thing away. The vast majority of glaciers in the world are retreating. Glacier National Park Montana will need a new name. We'll be calling it Glacier Less National Park by the middle of the century because all the glaciers will be gone. There's such a strange, bizarre fascination in seeing these things you don't normally get to see come alive. at the Columbia Glacier in Alaska. This is a view of what's called the calving face. This is what one of our cameras saw over the course of a few months. The action at Columbia is in part due to local glacier dynamics and in part due to climate change. Here's another time-lapse shot of Columbia. And everybody says, well, don't they advance in the wintertime? No, it was retreating through the winter because it's an unhealthy glacier. We realized it was retreating so far, we had to turn the camera upstream to follow the retreat. Then we had to pivot it again And then, when we went back this past August, it was so far out of frame, we had to turn the camera one more time so we could still see the glacier. So that's where we started three years ago, way out on the left. That's where we were a few months ago, last time we were into Columbia. 